Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Chagiga, page 26, which discusses that there are certain things that are found in the temple in the Bisa Mikdash that we warn people who are not particular in the laws of purity or impurity that they should not touch them. The Mishnah mentions that one should not touch the table, which was found in the room known as the Kodesh, the holy room, because we're concerned that if you touch it, you make it impure. On this, the Talmud wonders that when it comes to something as large as the Shulchan, this table, it's something which remains stationary, which means it doesn't move around. And since it doesn't move around, it's not susceptible to the laws of Tum of impurity. On this, the Talmud says, that's true. However, this Shulchan, the table in the temple, actually was one that was moved. The question is, why was it ever moved? So during the pilgrimage festivals, people came from near and far to go to the Beit HaMikdash. And because someone like myself, who's not a Kohen, wouldn't be able to go into that area of the Beit HaMikdash, the Shulchan was actually taken out, and it was shown to all the people. And on this, the Talmud says, we want to show you how much God loves you. How does this show that God loves us? So if you look on the table, there's actually 12 breads, known as the Lechem HaPanim, or showbreads, that were distributed uh, among the Kohanim that worked. And those breads were actually there for an entire week. Now, when we think of bread that's sitting around for a week, you would imagine that it's going to no longer retain its freshness and it's not going to be hot and warm like it was when it was just taken right out of, out of the oven. However, when it came to this bread, it was special that it remained fresh it remained warm. It did not change. And perhaps the message, why we're showing this, especially that there were other miracles that took place in the temple, is twofold. First of all, to show that God has not changed, just like that bread is still fresh, that bread is still warm, that connection has not gotten cold between us and our relationship in God. But it also teaches us about the freshness of ourselves. Many times in life, when we do things for the first time, it's exciting. But then it becomes rote and routine and we lose that excitement. We have to emulate the ways of the showbread that we have to remain fresh and warm and excited about everything that we do, even many, many years later.